Welcome everybody, Crazy Spark here yet again with another gameplay here and playing some paintball. Paintball, that's what I'm talking about. We're talking hardcore competitive action. There's no denying paintball is extreme. This is extreme paintball. This is the only way it can be done and that is in Halo. <laughs> Sorry. It's getting a little crazy. That's okay though. Uh, having a lot of fun, man. I, I jumped into uh, Action Sack yet again and... Uh, up came a game of paintball, and actually a really beautiful map, really simple, and just outright fun. I'm sorry, guys. I like having fun, and just playing some of these odd game types is fun, and which is what I love about Halo, man. I love that about Halo. You can take that base game mode and alter it, push the sliders this way and that, and, and guess what? You got a completely different game. It is com plays completely different. Now this is actually a breakout uh, uh, game type, and of course they've adjusted it for paintball, which works really well, man. I don't know why uh, that isn't actually in breakout because it is kind of fun to play. I know com breakout is competitive. Don't don't touch breakout. Breakout is super competitive. We don't want to do any crazy stuff here. It is the way it is. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. It's just the way I think it is, man. Uh, I, I had so much fun, and it's just I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, just jumping in, playing these odd little things. And obviously, uh, my poor teammate here is looking for the other player and can't seem to find him. Uh, so, uh, it's uh, good times. But that's what I love, man. I really do. I love uh, Halo for that reason because, yeah, you got your base game. But it is so much more, and it always has been so much more. I think the only time it really kind of wasn't, and, and it probably was at that time too, it was, it was different. Uh, it was a Halo CE. Uh, because Halo CE, you did have your base game type. You didn't have much for options. However, the difference with Halo CE is that there was no matchmaking. So when you played online and played with friends, it was split screen, and it was at their house. Which I never did because it, when Halo 1, uh, Halo C came out, uh, 2001, I was actually deployed. <laughs> no, actually, I think I just got back from deployment, uh, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I didn't really have that option. Um, I didn't even have an Xbox at that time. I was definitely a PlayStation fanboy. Uh, I loved uh, my PlayStation. Uh, the big thing I always used to play was... Um, Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer. I played that a lot. Uh, you remember the old Red Alert 2? Man, I was like the champ on the ship. Uh, like nobody could beat me. Oh, 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 oh. oh got him. Whew. <laughs> but I, I was. I was like the champion uh, Command and Conquer player. Uh, I was. It was just a very, very simple game type. I wish I could say the same for Halo Wars 2. Uh, but I can't <laughs> just to be honest there's a lot more strategy there to these days and the little glitches and everything else that you could take uh, advantage of in the old command and conquer red alert too um, yeah yeah that's not here it's not here uh, man that that actually reminds me I remember those game uh, like I said command and conquer did it was rather than using CGI or computer generated or cinematics they used real actors and real voices, and and that was actually really interesting. Um, <laughs> nothing like going to a video of and you see some of these uh, re actually some really good actors at some some of the videos, and it was really interesting to see that. You don't see that anymore, and you probably never will again. Um, but that was kind of fun. That was definitely fun uh, to see, and I always enjoyed that. It really helped uh, immerse me in that universe, uh, which was really nice. And I love the Command and Conquer universe. I played that a lot. Like I said, I was the champ on the ship. I, there was nobody that could beat me. I, I, there was like this one time uh, somebody told me, it's like, uh, there's this one guy, like, he's really good, and like, I can't beat him, and nobody else. And, and he's like, just tearing up. And, and so we look, we hook up, we, uh, we had this little spot on a ship, it was pretty much a closet, uh, just a little bit of space for like a couple TVs, and we'd go in there, and we'd hook up our Playstations, and uh, you know, had to have the old uh, heart, 
What type of cable was that? It wasn't an HDMI cable at the time. I can't even remember. It was like a USB cable or something. Trust me, it was... Look at that nade. You see that nade? And we'd hook it up, and we'd get the game set up and matched, and... Um, and so we go to battle, and this is this is how amazing and fun this was, is it at, uh, because I still remember it after all this time. And we go to battle, and I kept using this tactic on him, and then uh, he would just set up and build defenses, build pillboxes, uh, build turrets, or whatever else, just to kind of build his defense up. And he didn't work on his offense at all. So I was just, to start, just I just monster, I just did the tank rush, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I, I built tanks upon tanks upon tanks and just built them up crazy. And uh, the forces he did have, uh, I pretty much uh, simply did this. I set up like two groups. It's like my main group and then a distraction group. I sent the distraction group in and started attacking one side. And so he drew up all his uh, tanks over there, all his defenses over there. And then I would send in my main group to attack the back side of his base. And then, uh, <laughs> obviously, all his tanks and all his defenses were pretty much useless at that point because I'd tear up pillboxes without any any problem. And uh, I just had uh, a lot of fun doing that. And, and I ended up uh, just outright destroying him. So that was like the one time, the one time uh, that I was like the best uh, in my area <laughs> at something. Um, that's what That was actually really incredibly fun. Uh, as for it comes to Halo, not so much, but, um, anyways, I do have fun, man, and that's the main thing, uh, so many people out there just take the game too seriously, and, and I understand that, there is fun to be had in that, but man, I just like to sit back, relax, have fun, and at times, at times, if, depending on if the right people, I do get a little bit more competitive, and I do try to, uh, really, uh, bring that out, but I, I think... That is the happy balance that Halo needs to have. And, hey, maybe Halo 6, guys. We haven't heard much of anything about Halo 6. So I'm really hoping, really hoping that we're going to have something amazing uh, when Halo 6 does come out. And let's see if this guy gets that. No, no. Well, we end up losing. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't give you a victory gameplay, but still, it was uh, incredibly fun to do. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Crazed. I'm out of here. Comment, like, and subscribe.